So, first of all, there hasn't been a DVD with just concert footage of you guys out ever before, as far as I understand, correct? I think you had some video stuff before. I'm staring at him. We've been your mate. Right. So, this one is from uh, your tour in 1999, which was huge, it had over 90,000 people. Tell me why you decided to choose this tour and a little bit about the production of that show. You know, I read a, a review from that show, and, and, and somebody was saying, oh, you know, some Dutch guy, die for negative, I go pay to see them play, and Peter sucks, and, and Kenny is so drunk he can't play one note on his guitar. And I'm like, I wasn't drunk. What are you talking about? Fucking tore us apart, man. Tore us apart. You were thinner than you were. <laughs> and it was free. It was cheap. But seriously, tell me a little bit about the show, what it was all about, what you guys were playing for. It's all about the money. We are making it. <laughs> it's all about the money! This is just going so bad already. <laughs> oh, God. Gentlemen, try to focus here. Please buy out, Connor. Now, I once again, you guys have been together forever, and regardless of all the shit talking that you guys do about each other, or, or, or whatever it is, or whatever drama you guys have been through, you guys are still all together. Why, why do you think this band has stayed together for so long? Need a lie. The girls lie. Tell a lie. I choose this from you. Come on, you gotta answer my questions. Uh, <coughs> I think because fear, fear it's changed. Out of fear. <laughs> Pardon me? It is out of fear. No, I think because we've been friends even before the band existed. Would you stop into fucking rupting me? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and um, I find that to be extremely rare in this type of um. Career, this type of business, you know. So we all share a common background, you know. We've been, been friends before, type of negative, and yeah, all good. We won't be friends after. You know, my friend. The the litigants. <laughs> yes, actually, um, we're gonna have Judge. We Wap haven't gone into. Judge, Judge Wap is gonna come down and. Judge Wap. He's going to tell us how good of friends we are. Josh Silver is suing for $1,005. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Oh, my God. But seriously, why? You know, I mean, you guys just just give me, like, you know, like, why do you guys think Every time we try to destroy this band, it doesn't mm -hmm. die. We don't know why. Well, the other band we make all it. the wrong moves. We've been making all the wrong moves since day one. All the worst possible business decisions. We've, we've, we've made all the worst possible... Uh, road decisions, every overall personal life decisions intertwined. Well, I've been all the road. Where did we go right? You're hating on everyone right now. I know it. You're right. Tell me about uh, your, fa your favorite um, your favorite tour of all time. Pantera. Tell me some stories. Tell me why it was your favorite tour. It was around the October Rust. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, a lot of it is hard to remember. Please buy out Connor. There was something insane going on every single night. Uh, starting out with them, um, like you know, Philip and and Dime and those guys torturing Kenny every night. Like every night they went on stage. Every night we were playing. I think their mission was to take Kenny out. Hog <laughs> tie that boy. Like they they were like uh you know it was like you know like a harmless stuff, but it was all like you know like silly shit. Be harmless, man. They chased me full sprinting around the stage every night with like ropes. Fish, squid. Yeah, right. I remember, I remember, I remember, like the little plastic. They filled my boots up with squid. <laughs> it was hard. I spent and most of the night, show running. We toured with them for about three months, and then each night, just it just escalated into more and more insane. Yeah, until it turned into Peter walking on stage with a bucket of water and just throwing it on. Did <laughs> yeah. Remember? No. You know what? So I'm just making a dick out of myself, which is which comes pretty naturally. It's not hard to do. So, last clown. Well, I mean, I, I like, I mean, you're not going to show up, but the pooping footage was the best, so... I showed my best side, yeah. Count you yeah. Since you all are not going to see this on the DVD, there's some great footage of, uh, of Peter here, you know, pooping in the middle of the street, and well, um, yeah. I thought it was hilarious, but, you know. I, I believe it was on the same toxic bus. It was the same tour, yeah. The same tour, I mean, you know, there's this rule, you can't shit on the bus, fuck that rule. I shit on the bus anyway, even, like, anywhere on the bus. I was not even. No, I sell it. You do not. You sleep in 231 in a bunk, and it's also like. 
God. And it comes through that that's why you're not allowed to shit on the bus. It's just, it's just like shit on everyone's face. That's your own breath, your own breath backing up on you. No, face. no it's you, because yes. I know how you smell. And I did a real job. Oh, dear. Anyway, so I was saying, I wouldn't even go go into that fucking bathroom. Right, because it stunk so bad. It was like a chemical vomit smell. So this was in Sweden, I believe, and we had just eaten. I don't know what the, what, what the hell it was, but I, I really had to use the bathroom. And there's no place to go at 3 o'clock in the morning. So, of course, I go outside. Find the and, um, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to find, find the right the, the right vehicle the right with the proper height bumpers to put one of my cheeks on. And you are not going to see it. <laughs> but I, I did... Uh, Relieve myself on the street in Sweden. Which Some sweet diarrhea. He was diarrhea. very excited about it. He was like, look at that! It went, boom! And then he pissed And then he pissed all over it. I think everybody took a shit over here. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <sighs> Much better. I'm gonna have to seal the freshness in. But, <laughs> so I do um, apologize to the Swedish government for that. Well, then there was the shit in your pants one that you told me about. I've shit my pants many times. Uh-oh, oh, uh -oh I'm gonna shit my pants. I shit my pants once doing live radio in Amsterdam. <laughs> right that? while I was sitting next to the guy, and, and we're on the radio, and I shit my pants stunk, and the guy's face was like, I can tell you can smell it. But, you know... What did you say on? <laughs> it was a really weird state of matter between a gas and liquid, so it permeated, but... <laughs> It was like a heat shit. Yeah, it had heat to it. it. Yeah. Had heat. But the air had a brown tint to it, and you could, it was tasty. It was tasty. <laughs> you could taste I shit my pants, pissed my pants a lot. Yeah. You've also pissed all over Jerry, all apparently, when you were spooning together. Well, I never spooned with him. That's what you say. No, 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 no. I never spooned with Jerry. Well, let's be friends. Did you take a good look at Jerry? Oh, oh, okay. Jerry, uh, Jerry from Danzig, tell us how you peed all over him. Go away. What's up, you drunken bastard? I'm not drunk. You're wearing the bikinis. Aww. Aww. Get up. Look at you. Looking all sexy and drunk. I'm not even drunk. Look at you, drunk yeah. boy. <laughs> Let's take a peek at him. Yeah. I'm not drunk. You've been working out. Okay, I'm awake. Yeah. Yeah. I like long walks on the beach. What kind of women do you like? <laughs> what kind of women do you like? I like I like so I like nice dinners and long walks on the beach. <laughs> what about your women? Are you married? Fuck you. Get away from me, I'm gonna kill you. Are you married? It's not just because I away. play with eleven year old boys. <laughs> My wife's dead, man. How'd she die? In your mind? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're gonna, it's my mother. It's I my don't mother. give a fuck. I'm gonna kill you. Mm. It's too early in the morning for this shit. No fucking way. That's absolutely insane. You're, you're a sodomizer, please. <laughs> Do I have to tie your mouth with the anal beads? Oh, you shut up. Wife and memory display. Thank you. They're real. Okay. Gum milk? Not yet. Sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> My wish doctor, you tell me what to do. This is priceless. <laughs> 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 Speech last time I answered this. Continue. What Nazi speech is that? Okay. So therefore, your, 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 your hero should be Hitler because he got rid of a lot of people. And this is the. This is the <laughs> <other answer. laughs> oh, you only know, get rid of Jews. Come on. Yeah, I, mean, I, assume, I assume we have a perfect he got rid of, now, don't I? He got rid of hundreds and hundreds of thousands from Europe. That's just Jewish people. <laughs> Stop. Twenty million. 
And all of his I didn't own. say I despise yeah. people. I said they just weren't my heroes. Oh. If you'd like to kill them, that's something else. But we'll deal with that in the editing. Go ahead, Kenny. Three heroes you look up to. My dad, he left my mom when I was five. <laughs> <laughs> he, left me. No, he, he, he left you. but very big balls, <laughs> see? Wow, you that yeah, going you want to yeah, touch one. That's uh, good. Yeah, that's gross. It's good. They're very sweaty now, too. Naturally not. It's fun to smoke crack and fuck boys. <laughs> I'd be a gay dancer, probably <laughs> doing a lap dance for Johnny. Excellent. The tie-in, there it is, the tie-in. <laughs> well, you set up some of those gay incidents. Why? <laughs> you look gayer than we do. You think? I hope. Or you, you should take a look in the mirror again. Uh, you suck my balls. I stuffing grapes up his ass. It's disgusting. It's really gay. And whose idea was that? It wasn't my idea. Yeah. It was my... You're telling me that? It was I my idea. No, it wasn't absolutely mine. not. It was your idea. Absolutely <laughs> not. Definitely <laughs> not. No, absolutely your idea. This is just slander. <laughs> you suck my balls. You suck my balls. <laughs> Whoa! No, it's like they're about it either. The laughing, <laughs> you'll hear the most in the, in the background will be Kenny's. Well, it was funny, Lowe's. Oh, okay. Oh, it's okay. pretty so sick. That was funny, right, okay. <laughs> gotcha. It's gay. I it's think awful. you're all fucking guilty. Then okay. what about, like, well, what about him? Why are you sitting here being fucking quiet? Fuck you. Then you went about me. I'm nice trying to pass the buck. Yeah. Nice diversion. Help me out. <laughs> Well, what would you guys say was a was your favorite? Well, I'm sure there's a lot, but you know, let's go down the line. Your favorite tour bus moment. You know, like so a fucked up tour so bus so moment that you can remember. Oh my god. So you could give me more than one. One of my favorite times. Oh, my favorite time was Fight Club. 
<laughs> so we beat the shit out of each other. That's what we did. And we did it for like 250 miles. My favorite one was when Josh punched Neg in the face. Oh, that was years ago. Who? Neg, our old, uh, like, guy. he was like one of one of uh, our first techs. He, like, you know, did everything and uh, tormented just briefly. And uh, we were out drinking somewhere, and then we all came back. And then every time we would come out, we would come back to the bus. <coughs> Neg would go to harass Josh. Josh was was Tosha Josh. Where is he? And so Neg went to go, like into Josh's bunk and a fist just flew out and punched Nick right in the mouth. It was oh. Nice. Yeah, he's already missing it too, so it didn't make much difference. Was that the only other one he had? No, it was the only, only other one. That was, that was <laughs> finally the front one he had. But. That's fucked up. Uh, that was really funny too. The time Randy found Kenny's shit and stuff up. <laughs> I was going to bring that up Wait, when you the bus over on the side of the road. It ain't in my job description to pick up your shit. The last bus we had in Europe was the most disgusting experience of all time. The bathroom smelled like 120 degree vomit. Oh God! <laughs> it, it, it did. That's like, like piss on the radiator. I mean, yeah. you could not you could not go into the bathroom without you had to hold your breath. If you were pissing, you took one breath, you immediately upshot vomit. Like, That's an awesome guy. <laughs> you had to hold your breath while you went to the bathroom. But there was a hole in the floor. This okay. guy gets up drunk out of his bunk. Goes into the bathroom and disappears in there for like 25 minutes. <laughs> yeah, of course. He's all like yeah, jerking off. Of that, Wait a minute. You know, the footage is there. No, it's not in there, but it will be now. I'm like, where the fuck is this guy? How could he How could he still be alive in that bathroom right now? He must be dead. I walk in. He's I sleeping, out. standing up. <laughs> oh, no, I guess we Doing it. That was a good movie. Oh, oh, God. Stop saying you're going to die in there, man. <laughs> That's uh, his pick. You're right? <laughs> what you doing? You're stick laying around. You're right? You can pick your yep. hands and you can pick yeah. your nose. You know we need him, man. We really need to put a curtain there. A curtain there, yeah. Uh, really it really stinks, man. It does stink. But fucking Johnny's been in there for the last 20 minutes. This is a fucking... Party bomb! Pot of boiling hot sea monkey. Have you ever fallen asleep during sex, Johnny? Yes, yes. Maybe. I saw it. <laughs> it was with you, right? No. no. Not that time. Don't, don't gay. See, he's always got a spirit gay. <laughs> You're the guy who knows about his sex. <laughs> I was gay. <laughs> I'm gay. I know about some of your episodes, too. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about, about you know, the chicken. Let's get off chicken, man. Oh, the chicken incident. Get yeah, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make him upset. No. He's going to sweat and bark. Come on, tell us about the chicken incident. Oh, come on, the chicken incident. Well, yes, we actually nearly canceled the tour because we ran out of KFC. Really? One night after a show, there were a lot of people backstage. And for our after show food that night, we had Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, Peter's favorite! <laughs> cannibalism. See, that's another rumor. Apparently, you're a cannibal as well, as far as a pyromaniac and a. Uh, Satanist. A Satanist. A deep fried. Well, there's. There's, there's, oh, yeah, there's either a blood looking Christian <laughs> like the or a Satanist. Deep fried dogs. And he, he can get his hands on Jesus. It's not chicken. It's late. Fuck it, late. So, so after, after the show, right, <coughs> after the show food was Kentucky Fried Chicken. So there, there were a couple of extra friends backstage, so a lot of people were eating the, the chicken. And there was like, the what was it? They like, left like, wings. wings. Wings and like chicken legs. No, big spacks of talent. You gotta see the look at his face. <laughs> Just <laughs> his arms. What's this? Fucking wings! <laughs> And he went, bah! And a chicken. <laughs> what, what they did was. And a piece of chicken skidded off of Jeremy's girlfriend's head. <laughs> what, what they did was. Take me to LAX. LAX! It was KFC or LAX. It was planned. It was a conspiracy. It was. Oh, it, it was, was conspiracy. It was a chickspiracy. The drumsticks in the breasts were leaving a tag of shots. Listen, I'll tell you why. Because they fucking took the meat off the bones. And they put the skin on to make it look like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know, when you're ready, to, you can't wait. Like, you can't, like, He's can't <laughs> ah! It was three years ago. <laughs> to the airport. Is there a to the airport. Take me to LAX. The chicken incident. Okay, the chicken well, incident. The chicken incident. Back to you. We all know you had a lot of a lot of shit going on in your life lately. Tell us about you know the insanity, the cocaine, jail. 
Tell us, well, update got, us on the drama. I got mixed up with you know drugs and alcohol, of course, and uh, did some stupid stuff. And I did go to jail, Rikers Island, and I was in G Ward, Kings County Hospital, which is a psych unit. Um, so I made some mistakes, and I've had to pay for them. Did you? Don't walk in my footsteps. You know, me and Josh went to see him in jail too. Took us like five hours. Hey boys, what you gonna do? Yes. Locked yes. out, going through all these boots, and you know, you metal detectors. I, I was walking around in my underwear. Yo, yeah, Tavo, where you going, my son? We finally get there, and you see like that, motherfucker. He's there, he's there in his orange jumpsuit. Look at all twisted, and he walks in with like. He sits down, and yells at all of us for like five minutes, and gets up and walks away. <laughs> They didn't have chicken in jail. But <laughs> <laughs> he did. On a serious note, okay, um, you know, your career as type of negative has spanned over 15 years. Um, you know, as, as I told you guys before, you know, I think I think it's definitely changed the face, you know, of music during that time in, in many ways. The acid music too. Absolutely. <laughs> Our faces have changed in 15 years. <laughs> you know. What what can we expect from you guys on the next record, and you know music wise and you know also like you know theme wise and lyrical content. I do have to say, I mean, um, usually I have like some set goal for what I would like the next album to sound like, and that goal is never achieved. However, usually we're all, all satisfied with how it turns out. Please buy out product. So. It, to, to make a long story short, I wanted this next album to sound more like a hardcore album, but the stuff that I've been writing lately is kind of like Pink Floyd meets Black Sabbath. So it's like Stink Floyd. <laughs> He's wanted the last five albums this to be a hardcore album. you've been writing for the last 15 years. You know what they want? <laughs> you've wanted it to be a, a hardcore, hardcore album. album for like the last eight albums. <laughs> I'm like a broken record. I'm like a broken record. Like record. All right, you ready? Hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Speaking of food, I know we were talking about it the other day. You guys have a, a food obsession in this band. It's, you know, to me personally. Paul, you said that all of you do, you know, when, when you kind of. Well, my food can't touch each other. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> it's like an OCD. That's no joke. <laughs> all the French fries have to be cut and even sized. Fat. <laughs> <laughs> No, food, food that comes mixed we, together. We watched you eat once. <laughs> I've been watching that since I'm 13. You watched me eat once. Hold on, hold on. But you fucking grade everything I do we, on the bus. You have your fucking score sheets. So hold on, hold on. So, so the food can't touch itself, but to each other. So go ahead. You were, you were about to tell a story. Go on. I'm sorry. Except for foods like stews and goulash. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff that's meant to be mixed together. Right. It's allowed to touch, but but my nightmare holiday, uh, besides Easter, no McDonald's, <laughs> is Thanksgiving, because. Does the gravy and mashed potatoes freak you out? Oh, they touched. <laughs> they touched. It was it was like when when like fucking worlds collide, and I come from like a Polak family where they you know like they're so used to being fucking pigs that they used to just take take like a ladle and scoop the fucking shit out of the pig's trowel. And throw it on a fucking platter, and that's right. it. Platter, platter, what's the difference? So anyway, yeah, the you know, potatoes, but the meat and the gravy and the carrots and the cook all together. I'm like, it's disgusting. So I bought these military stainless steel plates. Yeah. So essentially, you rebelled by separating your food. Yes, Doctor Freud. Gotcha. <laughs> Sigmund Freud. So then, so my father, of course. After he he retired, he's watching me eat, like, like you know, dividing the peas and counting them, making sure that the number of peas were equal to corn and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. The niblets, you know. Yeah. And so he's the like, he's like, you know, they're going to go to the same place anyway. What's the difference? I'm like, Dad, with, with that logic, why don't you just make breakfast, lunch, and dinner and blend it up and sip it fucking during the day all day long? It's going to the same place anyway. He didn't like that remark. He also didn't like the fact that I would put a sock and a shoe on. He's like, no, you gotta put both socks on first, then you put your shoes on. I'm like, no. What are some other uh, interesting uh, OCD habits you have, Peter? Oh, you I asked you some very strange questions that I really find virtually unanswerable. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Spock. <laughs> So as, as a final question for you guys, what do you, what would be 
most interesting way for you to die? On the toilet, of course. <laughs> the ultimate fucking diarrhea shootout. Pool, We're here in Texas. Oh, the next on the toilet. I love the bathroom. I spend most of my time in the bathroom. I love the bathroom too. You do? I You're a bathroom, bathroom person? I love pooping. I think it's a beautiful experience. It is. I'm so slow too. It takes me like an hour and a half. I'm coming to catch you, Peter. Yeah? How would I like to die? I don't know. It wouldn't really matter so long as I felt I made a difference in the world. You did. You made it worse. <laughs> Josh, how would you like to die? Where we, we are going to be auditioning guitarists. <laughs> I don't care as long as it happens now. <laughs> Like everything else. Oh, listen, in his sleep. he only takes like 25 in tapes. He's laying in his sleep. He eats in his sleep. He pisses in his sleep. He but dies. But I don't get enough sleep. Good night, John B. All right, guys, on that note, we're fucking done. Please buy out Connor.